Hello, Gemini. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your bonus reading for this first half of May. Let's take a look and see what it is that Spirit needs you to know at this time. And for the focus messages, I'm doing something similar to what I did for my mind, body, and soul reading that I did recently. So we've got mind, body, and soul. So those are our focus card decks that I'll, we'll be using this time around. General reading, as always, guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person. So please do take from this what makes sense for you. Release the rest. And if you are interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. And I'll include a link to all of the card decks that I'll be using here today. All right, Gemini. So let's get right into it. This is the Twin Flame Soulmate Unspoken Messages Volume 1 and 2 by Firewitch Tarot. I've combined both of this, these decks, so we'll take a look and see what comes through from here. This is the Twin Flames Astral Intimacy Oracle by Angelic Revelation 144. And then we'll grab a card from the Journey of Love deck by Divine Essentials. So let me set these first decks aside. And we'll tap into this one. What is your person thinking when it comes to you? Or this could be coming through for you, Gemini, what it is that is in your mind, your mind space when it comes to your person. So we'll grab one and guide it to this one here. Wishing on a star. Is it you that's making this wish, Gemini, or is it this person? Or it could be both of you as well. And it could very well be picking up off of the energy of the star card in traditional tarot which is typically Aquarius energy. So for some of you, you might be focused on an Aquarian, but you know, it's a beautiful card because it's all about hope and faith and a wish that might just come true. Okay, so that's what's in the mind space. Let's take a look and tap into the body, the physical connection, the intimacy between you and this person. Angels and Spirit Guides for Gemini for this bonus reading. This could be for Cross Watchers also, whoever it is that you're focused on for this reading. All right, let's grab this one here. 50 Shades of Loving Play. So definitely some very sexual energy here coming through between you and this person. And it doesn't even matter whether you guys have been intimate or not. Some of you might certainly be interacting in the fifth dimension and having intimacy and that intimate connection in the 5D. Okay, but of course, if you have been intimate with this person, Gemini, definitely very sexual in nature. And they certainly have a lot of fantasies about you. You might have a lot of fantasies about them. So let's take a look and see what the soul has to say. So we've got the mind, we've got the body. What's up with the soul when it comes to the person you're focused on for this reading? Let's grab this one. Number 19, desire. You desire this person. I can still taste you. You see still very sexual in energy right there. The number 19 could also play a significant role for some of you guys. Okay, so that's what's coming through. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what the rest of this reading can bring forward. Let's start off with this deck. All right, angels and spirit guides for Gemini. For this bonus reading. For whoever needs it. This is the Pining Rose Love Oracle by Calico Moon. All right, what's up with you and this person that you're focused on for this reading? Angels and Spirit Guides for Gemini. You guys definitely might be communicating in the fifth dimension here, intimately as well as just being able to feel each other's vibes. We do have move on. So this is an indication here that you both might have moved on from the connection. And part of this wish from that star is wanting to bring this back together. They're still still thinking about you. 
you know, I can still taste you. I mean, the fantasies, the sexual energy between you and this person, it's still quite prominent. The next card is waiting, followed by fate. Look at this next card. We have I love you. You see, the love is still here between you and this person. So not only do you guys love each other, but the passion, the intimacy is also very strong. This is a faded connection here. You guys were meant to meet in this lifetime. And even though you are more than likely in separation, you're not together at this time, you might still be waiting for this person to either get on the same page as you, to reach out to you in however way you're waiting or they're waiting for you. But they're coming through here, Gemini, letting you know they still love you. They definitely want you. We do have dancing through my dreams. So not only are they still thinking about you, not only do they desire you sexually, but they might even be dreaming about you as well. There could also be a particular song that's tied into the connection. If music plays a prominent role in this relationship, somebody might be a songwriter, somebody might be in the music industry somehow. You guys could have either been married or in however way this ring is represented in your connection. It could be a promise ring or simply conversations about building a life together by way of marriage, long-term future. But something happened here to create some sort of distance and issues between the two of you. So let's take a look and see what that is. Let's dive right into it with the Mystic Moon Oracles, Angels and Spirit Guides for Gemini for the, this bonus reading. For whoever needs it, what is it that Spirit needs you to know at this time? For this bonus reading for the first half of May. We do have Victim, okay? It is falling right below Move On, so maybe either yourself or the person you're thinking about felt like a victim in all this. Their hands were tied for some reason and they had to maybe move on because their hands were tied in a situation or in another relationship. For those of you that relate to that, there are obstacles that are presenting itself that have prevented the two of you, two of you from either staying together or being together. We do have nostalgia. So, clarification that you guys are still thinking about each other, feeling very nostalgic about the connection, remembering the good times, remembering the wonderful memories that you guys have shared before. They're still holding on to the love that they have for you, though, and they're waiting for something to shift here, some form of movement or communication from you, perhaps, Gemini. but they haven't let you go. That's what I'm picking up here. There are signs that are coming through here. It's falling right below fate. So perhaps life might just hand you a sign to let you know that this is a part of your destiny. Destined partnerships to come back together regardless of the challenges going on right now. We do have separation here falling right below I love you. It's breaking this person's heart to not be with you. Do you feel the same, Gemini? You know, that is ultimately the question here. Do you love them too? Are you heartbroken over the fact that you guys are in separation? This for me is very three of swords and energy. Threes are all about communication in tarot. And I feel right now the communication that's going on is in the fifth dimension because you guys are more than likely not together, not in each other's lives right now. There's this reminiscing and nostalgic energy that's tied into what's going on between the two of you. So this is all about heartbreak and grief and separation. It's breaking this person's heart to not be with you. We do have the divine masculine coming up next. 
So for my feminines, it could be the divine masculine that you're dreaming about, or it could also be the divine masculine here who's been highly affected by this breakup, who's heartbroken over the fact that you guys weren't able to work it out, or there was drama that contributed to what happened between the two of you. We do have a no answer here. This could, of course, be interpreted in so many ways. It is right next to the Divine Masculine. So it could have been the Masculine who told the Feminine, it's like, no, we can't do this, or no, we can't come together at this time. However way that no is presenting itself, it's ultimately what drove a wedge between the two of you, which is why we do have that stuck card right now. It could also have been the feminine who told the masculine, no, we can't see each other anymore. And if it's my masculine, who's definitely feeling the feminine's absence here, which is perhaps why we have this stuck energy. If it's the masculine who's unable to move on, still wanting the feminine, hasn't been able to move on, feeling nostalgic about the good times, but there is ascension that is possible here in this connection. And a karmic partner could have also been an issue here. Third party situation, karmic partnership. And it is right next to cycles. So the cycles tied into this karmic, perhaps it's phased out by now. It's a thing of the past which is why you guys are not together. But you guys can actually work towards getting unstuck to bring about this ascension, that ascending energy. I feel that's in the process of being worked through, especially if this karmic cycle has phased out, if it's on its way out, if it has already come to completion, and this ascension will actually give you a second chance or a new chapter in love with the person that you ultimately want to be with, Gemini, because as I mentioned, this is where you guys are connecting. That's the next card, the fifth dimension. That's where you guys are experiencing communication and interaction. And yes, those intimate moments, perhaps that's where you're connecting intimately is in the fifth dimension. So let's add some tarot to this and let's take a look and see what else is going on? This is the palette deck by Sal Biadora of Eat, Read, Love. Angels and spirit guides for Gemini for this bonus reading for whoever needs it at this time. For the first half of May, we do have the Five of Swords and it's flying in the reverse. So swords is your own energy, Gemini. And in the upright, the Five of Swords is conflict, it's tension, it's feeling defeated. Fives are typically a difficult energy, but it is coming up reversed here. So the Five of Swords in the reverse is lingering resentment. It is also the desire to reconcile, the desire to forgive. So I feel here, because this is your own energy, Gemini, that you might want to come back together with this person. And the question is here, who needs forgiveness? Is it you? Is it them? Is it both of you? I mean, nobody's perfect. It takes two people ultimately to bring a relationship down. But this is letting us know here that the desire to come together is, is here definitely from your end. And then we've got the five of cups right next to that. So two fives right next to each other can be a little bit difficult. The Five of Cups is tapped into water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for some of you guys. Five of Cups is loss, regret, bereavement, which is why we have the separation card here. Somebody's heartbroken. You both might be heartbroken and grieving the end of this partnership. You both might be feeling very nostalgic, which is why this is where 
you guys are connecting in the fifth dimension because in the 3D world, maybe there's just way too many obstacles that are standing in the way for now. You do have the Ace of Coins, which is Pentacles energy, okay? Coins, Pentacles is Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This is a great card because this is a card of manifestation. Being able to manifest a new beginning when it comes to this partnership. It's also tapped into prosperity. So if you are focused on an earth sign, they might actually be doing quite well in their career, whatever it is that they do for a living. This could be tapped into your own vibe too. You know, we're not too focused on the signs here, but this is a new beginning for you as well, Gemini. And it's all about what it is that you want to manifest in your life. And that includes career and finances. Your money matters. So if you've been struggling a little bit in that, this is letting you know here that things are going to be improving in that area. And then you've got the world card right next to it, which is amazing. And it is all about cycle completion. That's already here. So I feel whatever cycles need to close out will in order to make room for new cycles to come in. New beginnings, not just in regard to your love life either new beginnings in your life, new beginnings in your career, however way you want that to play out in your life. But something needs closure. So maybe you guys didn't have proper closure the last time you guys spoke or saw each other. Clearly it ended, which is why we've got that separation and that broken heart represented right there. But with that reversed five of swords, especially with your own energy, Gemini, you want this person back. You want to be able to reconcile the connection and perhaps you do want this person's forgiveness if perhaps you were the one that entered into a third party or a karmic partnership outside of the connection or really however way it's presenting itself in your own situation. You might also think about traveling, taking a vacation with this person. Of course, that's not the most ideal thing to do right now with the whole pandemic situation, but eventually, you know, you'll be able to have the opportunity to do that. If you guys have ever thought about that. But this is great energy from the world card because it's putting you in a very triumphant position to make things happen in your life. Whether that's in regard to your love life, your health, your finances, your career, family, friends, whatever it is, you'll be quite successful. And the world card is picking up off of earth energy also. So if the person that you are thinking about, feeling nostalgic about for this reading is an earth sign, there's a really good chance here that you guys can come back together because the world card ultimately gives you, it offers you a new beginning, a new start in your love life. But the great thing about that is it's offering you a much more solid foundation for you guys to stand on compared to where you were before. If things were a little bit shaky as far as the stability of the relationship, especially if there were third parties and karmics involved in that equation, the world card is giving you guys a very different way of interacting this time around. And it just looks more promising, definitely. The hanged man is here to offer you a new perspective as well on how to see things, see things from a different light. The hanged man is water energy typically. So for some of you guys that are focused on a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, perhaps. This is surrender. Sometimes part of that surrender is to move on and to let go and to just have faith that what's meant for you, what's meant to come into your life will come back. If it's been removed from your life and if it comes back to you, it's meant to be. Fate. So the hangman is here to offer you enlightenment. To remind you that sometimes you gotta let go of what's no longer serving a purpose in your life. You gotta release certain things 
what's cluttering up your life so that you can make more room to receive better, not just in your love life. Clearly, in regard to your finances, it's looking really good. And then you've got the Ace of Swords here with your own Gemini energy. That could, of course, include Libra and Aquarius also. And we've already got this card, that focus message, wishing on a star, which is Aquarius, the star card. So we've got two aces coming through here, Gemini, letting you know you have a brand new beginning. Because the ace of swords is clarity. It's cutting out all of the nonsense in your life that was distracting you from that clarity. It's giving you the breakthrough that you need in order to figure things out when it comes to this connection, when it comes to your job, your finances, your health, your other relationships, whatever it is. But it looks really promising. Okay, so let's add to this with some romance angels. Let's continue to tap into your love situation here with the person you're focused on. Angels and spirit guides for Gemini for this bonus reading for whoever needs it at this time for the first half of May. What else needs to come through here? What else? In regard to love and romance. Love yourself first. A reminder from the angels that it starts with you, Gemini. You have to have self-respect and love for you first in order to experience that with somebody else. We do have very soon coming through here. So giving you a time frame, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And you have the power. You've got the Ace of Swords. You've got the power to create movement and change in your life with this person. So you got to figure out what is it that you want? Do you want them back? Perhaps you could actually help that along by opening up lines of communication, express what's in your heart, just let them know how you're feeling. It just takes that first step. We do have codependency coming through here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. If this is something that you've been dealing with personally, Gemini, perhaps that's why it's coming through, or this is an issue that your person has been dealing with, but it needs to be addressed, whoever is coming through with this codependent energy. And sometimes codependency is obsessive behavior towards a person as well. And it could be this karmic that's coming through with that vibe. We do have past life relationship. You have known each other before. You and this individual, Gemini, when you met in this lifetime, I have a feeling it was like meeting up with an old friend, like you've known this person before. And more than likely, that's because you have. You've met before and reconnected. You were destined to meet in this lifetime to reconnect and pick up where the last lifetime perhaps left off, which is why there's that sense of familiarity between the two of you. But this is coming forward from the angels to let you know that it's worth working on this partnership. Give your relationship a chance. It's not over when it comes to the two of you. I really feel that there's a lot more chapters to this love story, Gemini. Okay, so let's add to this with some dialogue. And I'm guided to pull from my Divine Love and Separation deck. This is by Fire Witch Tarot, so let's do that. Focusing on your person, this is ultimately what they want to say to you. And if you resonate with this for yourself, this could also, of course, represent what it is that you want to say to your person. We'll grab a few from here, and as always, take what resonates with you. Angels and Spirit Guides for Gemini. Who needs to speak up here? Clearly, you guys have a lot to say to one another. Let's grab this bottom of the deck. Okay. What do we have, guys? 
Lots to say to each other, that's for sure. I already see worried. Somebody's worried. Okay, here we go. First message, Gemini, either from you or from your person. I miss those text messages that always puts a smile on my face. Bring it back. So if you guys are familiar with this message, if you guys were texting a whole lot when you were together, they definitely miss it. I mean, we've got nostalgia right there. I have a feeling here with you guys connecting in the fifth dimension, you feel the same. You miss those daily texts also. Next one. You will soon understand why I had to leave. So for those of you who never had closure with your person, you will have that clarity very soon. You do have that Ace of Swords, which is going to bring you that breakthrough and awareness and clarity when it comes to this connection. Next card, worried. I feel like there's someone else involved. And for some of you, there is, which is why we've got this Karmic Partner card coming through. You know, maybe it's this person is still with your person, Gemini, or you are with somebody, which is what's preventing this ascension. Next message. You always knew how to make me laugh. Lots of laughter, lots of good times, lots of great conversations between the two of you. Next message. I don't want you to feel second in my life since I'm with someone else. Okay, so that's clarification here, Gemini, for some of you, that the person you're focused on here is with somebody, they're still with somebody else, which is what's preventing movement here. But, you know, with the energy coming through here, I can still taste you, I love you. They're brokenhearted over the fact that they can't be with you. And you could certainly resonate with that for yourself. I feel you guys are still being drawn to each other, despite your individual circumstances. You know, and it, it certainly, if somebody is married, if somebody's in another committed relationship, or you both might be, that's just the reality of the situation for some of you guys. But it's also a reality that in your heart space, you can't deny what's there. The heart wants what it wants. And if you're desiring somebody outside of your relationship, that needs to be addressed. Either from your end, Gemini, your person's end, it needs to be addressed. You can't just keep sweeping that under the rug. It needs to be dealt with. And if you're ultimately in a partnership where you're not happy, you know, you got to figure that out too. Life is too short to be unhappy. Let's just put it that way. And that could be your person too, of course, if they are already in a committed partnership. They have to figure that out for themselves. Are they fulfilled? I have a feeling they're not if they're thinking about you. Okay, last one. I'm confident enough to know that we will cross paths again. This could be you feeling this way, Gemini. This could be both of you feeling this way. So if karmics, if other commitments, if third party involvements are still present here for some of you, that needs to cycle out first in order for you guys to come together. Okay, so let's move on. Let's go ahead and add some lovers oracle to this. Angels and spirit guides for this Gemini reading, this bonus reading for whoever needs it at this time for the first half of May. Let's take a look and see what else needs to come through here. Angels and spirit guides. Yes, I believe it. That card says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Yes, it's true. Let's grab this bottom card. Okay, so we have a few. Coming through here, we have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. Exactly. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. You know, dancing through my dreams. I just feel here that this person is very much a part of your dreams and you are very much a part of theirs. And 
we've got a broken heart here, pain, painful endings. So forgiveness is definitely needed here in however way it can bring about peace in the situation. But clearly, this card is coming through communicating to you, Gemini, in your heart of hearts. You already know the answer when it comes to this connection. And you have to follow your heart. You have to do what feels right for you. This next message, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So it's on its way to you. But it hasn't gotten there yet, so you might have to give this a little bit more time. Because right now you guys are in the fifth dimension. Eventually, removing the, the karmic, removing the third party, removing relationships that either of you don't want to be in any longer. You remove those elements to it, then there's actually nothing standing in the way of the two of you coming together and just being able to love each other in the 3D. So it's not impossible. Okay, last message. It is important right now, <clears throat> excuse me, to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. And that is why, Gemini, this came through for you. Love yourself first. Because if you're not loving yourself, then you won't be able to love anyone else properly or in the right way you know and if you do have codependency issues that you're dealing with right now that needs to be addressed also during this time that you're working on yourself that's part of the love that you have to throw your way to mend your broken heart if this is you as well if you love this person then you have to do the right thing for you first and should you guys finally clear whatever obstacles are standing in the way of you guys coming together, this can ultimately come together. You certainly have the desire to bring it back together. We do know that. Okay, so let's grab some energies tied into this connection here, Gemini. This is the Love Compass Oracle by Luna Tide Love. We'll grab three cards from here. And as always, take whichever card you are most guided towards for your particular situation. Angels and spirit guides, please bring forward three cards, overall energy for Gemini, for your own individual situation. We have influencing factors, okay? Let's grab one more. There we are. Ooh, true love. What's this one? Different paths, yes. Some of you guys are on different paths. It's true. So let's start with that one. You and this person are going down different paths. You are not on the same page. You have different visions of what you want for your life and where you're headed. Be honest with yourself and this person. Does this relationship align with the direction you want to move into? And if it's not Gemini, then that comes with self-analyzation to figure things out for yourself. And maybe that's what these signs are all about, letting you know if you are on different paths, it's confirmation here for you, especially if your person is with somebody else, if they've moved on to another relationship, or if you have. We also have influencing factors, a physical imbalance in finances or career may be affecting this relationship. This could be a work-life imbalance. This may pertain to your relationship being influenced or affected emotionally because of religious or spiritual factors. So that's a very specific message coming through for some of you. If this happens to resonate with you, that's why it's coming through here. And so that's an area of focus here for you in your particular life. And lastly, we've got true love coming in. Okay. This love is real and true. This is a healthy, emotional, and genuine connection. You are giving and receiving more love in your life. This may pertain to you reaching the vibration of unconditional love, or you are manifesting a high vibrational relationship. The love, the true love that you can absolutely count on. But remember, you got to give that true love to yourself first in order to experience this true love 
vibe with the person that you want to share that love with. Okay, so whichever one of those messages resonates with you. All right, guys, so let's grab some messages from the guardian angels, and then we'll close this out with some healing messages. All right, for your guardian angels, Gemini, what is it that they want to tell you right now for this bonus reading for whoever needs it? Angels and spirit guides for Gemini. We have oneness, and then we've got expression on the bottom. Okay. Someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart. Remember, dearest one, that even though there has been a physical parting, spiritually, those we love never leave us. Creation is eternal. Nothing is ever truly missing, for all is interconnected and ultimately one. This has two interpretations. For those of you who may have lost a loved one, it could certainly be picking up off of that. And for those of you clearly who are in separation from a person that you love, it's coming through in that sense as well. We already know you guys are connecting in the fifth dimension. So spiritually, energetically, vibrationally, you guys are still interacting in that way. And I am ultimately feeling for the majority what you're wanting is to bring that connectedness, the interaction in the 3D world. And I feel there's a really good chance for some of you guys to make that happen. And lastly, we have expression express how you feel clearly lovingly and honestly without fear or judgment say it exactly like it is all will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerned self-expression is liberating and healing you know it's one of those cards that's just telling you whatever is in your heart space to whoever it is that you need to say it to just say it if you love this person just say it if you've got concerns in your relationship, just say it. And your person, they have to do the same thing. Okay? All right, guys. So let's grab our healing messages to close this out, Gemini. Some final thoughts here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini, for this bonus reading. Healing messages from the angels for you, Gemini. Angels and spirit guides, please. What is it that Gemini needs at this time to bring about healing in their life, love life, and just life overall? We have focus. Be laser focused on what it is that you want, Gemini, not just in your love life, but all areas of your life. Because if you're coming from a place of truly knowing and claiming what it is that you want, that's the energy that's the vibe that you're putting out there and i say this all the time in my readings the energy that you are exuding out into the universe it's always paying attention if you're coming from a place of negativity or you're pissed or you're impatient you're attracting more of that back to you so change your vibe change your focus come from a place of love positivity just knowing and trusting that what's meant to be yours will be yours. What's meant to come back will come back. There are those of you who would bring about that healing in your life simply by freeing yourself from things, from connections, from people that no longer serve a purpose in your life. And if that freedom is from a karmic, if that freedom is from a relationship that you're no, no longer happy in, if that freedom is from a third party, if that freedom is from quitting a job that you absolutely hate, whatever it is, you can bring about that freedom in your life. Gemini, there are no chains that are binding you. You're not in prison. You know, you can break free from any situation that doesn't fulfill you. You also have celebration coming through here. A cause for celebration, happier times ahead. So no matter where you're at right now, if things are challenging, especially in regard to your love life, certainly just know that ultimately, if what you're wanting is to work things out with your person, obviously they have to be on the same page as you to be able to want what you want, equal exchange of desire, that 50-50 energy where you're both truly wanting this to happen, you can make it happen. 
if you guys are on different pages as this card states different paths it makes it a little bit more difficult it's not impossible but there are definitely challenges to overcome there okay so that's where i'm going to leave this one guys i do hope that this resonated with you whatever part of it did and i'll be back soon with more readings for you thank you guys so very much for being here and for tuning in and again if you're interested in your own personal private reading all of that info is down below in the description box and I'll be back soon, guys, with more readings. So stay tuned. Take care.